All right, you've seen this proof of concept system. We've got the Solus 11.4 kilowatt inverter. We've got a 24 kilowatt hour Nissan Leaf battery over here. We've got 16 kilowatts of panels out back. And this is all running for Antminer S19. So what are we up to today? Well, it's rainy, dreary, so I figure what better time than now to expand the operation. Let me take you out back and show you what I'm talking about. All right, let's take a little walk back here. At least the pond's getting some water in it. It's looking pretty good. All right, this is an old horse barn. I'm basically using it for junk storage and a chicken coop. But we've got this, this room back here. It's basically uh, was a dirt floor. I just put this floor in and what we're going to do is put a divider wall. This is about 13 feet long by 12 feet, I guess. Yeah, 13 by 12. So I'm going to divide it approximately in half. And this, this front half is going to be for the power equipment. And the back half is going to be for the miners. Let me zoom this out a little bit. There. It gives you a little better perspective there. The first rack of miners is going to be on this wall here. The shelf I'm going to use is going to be able to hold 24 miners. If I load this thing out totally, I'll have 24 miners on this side and 24 on that side. The back, what I'm thinking is that's going to be the, the air intake. I'm going to put the fans there filtration and fans and then I'll just cut some holes in the sides here uh, put some screening in it and then the ant miners will vent directly out the side here I'll start off with one pretty good sized fan back here uh, some filtration a fan so right now on site here I've got about 50 kilowatts of inverters I've got about another 40 kilowatts of solar panels that need to be installed so 50 kilowatts gets me, I'll be able to run 15 ant miners with that. So that'll be enough to start this, this one wall over here. Right now we're getting into a good time to start buying S19s again. I've seen on eBay, there's, there's a seller right now selling them for 250 free shipping. So I'm thinking... Probably within the next month or so, we're going to be seeing $100 S19s if the, if the Bitcoin price stays about where it is right now. The bigger farms are going to start dumping them because unless they have better than $0.05 cent a kilowatt hour electric rates, they're losing money running them. So at that price, I'm going to fill up what I can over here because we don't have that problem running off solar. When power is free, efficiency is secondary. Of course, you know, it'd be nice to run more efficient equipment, but not if we're paying two, three thousand dollars for one miner that, you know, that's what, doing 150, 200 terahash. We can do that with two S19s. So right now the game plan is concentrate on the power. The more free power we have now, the better off we are. And then later on, I'm thinking that before the next halving, S21s are going to be down probably in the $300 range, just like the 19s are now. So for me right now, the play is energy and storing that energy in Bitcoin. All right, that's about it for this one. Hope you got some entertainment value out of it. And we'll catch you on the next one. Adios.